This video will describe the processes by which we will manage this year's end of semester assessments, explaining how you can download the paper for each assessment and upload your files for the questions you answer. The approach we are explaining does not require the use of a laptop and can all be done via your mobile phone. The process will be managed through Learn, so just log in to Learn in the usual way. Along with all of your courses, you will see a Learn site for each of the assessments you will complete over the assessment period, made available in advance of the assessment date. To work on the assessment that you wish to prepare for next, just click on the appropriate link. You can see here that as well as the exam paper, there are the instructions shown in this video in written form, as well as areas for you to submit each of your answers. The process involves five steps to carry out. Let's go through each one. Step 1. Right-click on the file name to download the assessment paper from Learn. These will be available in advance of the start time so that you can download them and have them ready to open. Step 2. At the start time of the assessment, published on the assessment timetable, a password will be released on Learn underneath the assessment file. Students will also be emailed this password at the start time of the assessment. Use this password to open the assessment file. You can read the file on your computer or print it out if you wish. Step 3. You should now start working through your answers. You will only be marked on the number of answers you are asked for, so choose which questions you wish to focus on. Begin writing your answers to these questions. Write your answers clearly on white paper with a dark pen, blue or black. A template is shown for your answer page. You should write down at the top of each page 1. Your exam number and 2. A clear reference to the question part or parts on that page. For example, question 1a. Step 4. Once you have all of your answers written, begin the upload process. The task is to create PDFs of each of your answers so that you have a PDF for question 1, question 2 and so on. The easiest way to do this is with your mobile phone or tablet. We are recommending the app Adobe Scan. Open the app and select Document in the Photo options. Take a photo of the first page and once you are happy with the boundaries, click Continue. If there is a second page for the answer to your question, take a photo of this as well. Remember, you will need to upload answers on a question-by-question -question basis. Click on the combination of photos. In this example, there are two pages in the answer for question 5. Change the name of the file to the question number you are answering and click Save PDF. Check your PDF file to ensure that your answer is readable. You now need to share the file to a place that you can upload it from. Click on the Share button beside the file name and select Share a copy. Save the file to a place that you can upload it from, either by emailing it to yourself or saving it onto your phone or tablet. In this example, I am saving it to my phone. The PDF will save to your phone files or your cloud space, depending on your phone options. Repeat this for each of the questions you have answered. Step 5. Once you have all of your answers ready to upload, log in to Learn on your mobile. Click on the question you wish to submit your answer to. In the Attach Files area, select Browse My Computer and choose Browse and Navigate to where you saved your files. Here I am navigating to my phone folder and selecting the desired answer file. If you clicked the wrong file, just click Do Not Attach and search again. There is no need to add a comment. Press Submit to submit this question and repeat again for each of your remaining questions. Make sure to practice the five steps shown well in advance of the assessment period with your own mobile phone and where you plan to do the assessment work. If you have any queries, 
please contact chemistry.teaching at ed.ac.uk.